Mohammed Ibrahim is a pastoralist who says he lost a quarter of his flock of sheep during the 50-mile trek in search of water. He received humanitarian aid, just enough to survive. But it was not enough to help his animals as well, and they perished. Now my camels have begun to die. When camels die, we know the situation is extreme. Every period of drought pushes people deeper into poverty. The Ethiopian government led a massive response to the 2015-2016 El Nino-induced drought, providing food or cash transfers to about 18.2 million people. Ethiopia's efforts to combat the impact of drought are held up as an example of a response that strengthens national coping systems. The government's first line of defense against drought is the IDA-funded Productive Safety Nets program. The program includes an element of providing cash for work. Often, communities opt for projects that revive their area. By repairing gullies, they can prevent the loss of topsoil when it does rain. Barriers made of stone and wire protect the soil. The World Bank is one of 11 donors contributing to the Productive Safety Nets program with $700 million from IDA. When these resources are not enough, the government issues an appeal for aid. This year, it's issued a humanitarian appeal for 5.6 million people. Humanitarian aid solves the problems of today, but it does not prepare families for the future. As droughts grow more frequent, it will be even more important to anticipate food insecurity and water shortages. Planning for the worst will allow the country to limit its need for humanitarian aid. Safia Abdi saves a little of the cash she receives from the program to send her children to school and buy them textbooks. Families understand the importance of planning for the future. Beneficiaries are known to share their resources with aid-dependent members of their communities to help them tide the uncertainty of waiting for food to arrive. Halimo, who's receiving humanitarian aid this year, supports eight children. She'd prefer to be on the program like her neighbors. However, the program does not have enough funds to cover all the families that need help during severe droughts like these. To strengthen Ethiopia's resilience, the World Bank has committed an additional $100 million to the Productive Safety Net program. Along with other donors and partners, the bank is working to create a new plan that breaks the cycle of humanitarian appeals in Ethiopia.